Ladies and gentlemen, what a shot for Baumgartner. This is the mayor the fans came to see. Hey, Alicia, I'm really gonna expose you. You are a basic boxer. Okay. I never even heard of you. Knockout of the year, what have you done? Yeah, this week. What have like you, you done? just started? I ain't got nothing to lose. Both of you do not like one another. I'm a dog walk you. Literally, I'm the dog he walker. Really I've been working my ass off underneath the light. You have the light. I won the belt, and so I'm coming for the championships. I want to be undisputed. That's it. I'm knocking Michaela out September 10th. Power punching bound, Gardner. Oh! Michaela May. She's ready for whoever. This is the moment she's been dreaming of. Take three, trash talk, marker. Second six. Tim Bradley. Yo. Hey, man, I'm in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Michaela Mayer's camp. I'm going to grab her before she starts her workout so we can get into it, talk about this big fight that's coming up, ask the ladies about some of the things that have been said back and forth. We got audio, we got visuals, and we're going to be able to hear each other and we're gonna ask the young ladies about this fight. Are you guys ready to go? Oh, we ready to go, but check this out, man. I'm in Denver, Colorado, baby. Alicia's here with me, Baumgartner, buddy. And she just got done with a fitness routine, and I gotta tell you, man, okay. she looked fantastic. She looked strong. But yeah, we ready. We ready to sit down and have this conversation. Well, let's get it going. We getting ready to lock right. in and get this thing going, bro. We'll see you in a second. All right, boss. All right, brother. Champ. <laughs> Coach. Hey. How y'all doing? Good, great. Doing Always great. good to see you. Man, I'm excited to be here. Big fight coming up September 10th in the UK. Obviously, your opponent, uh, Bum Gardner, you guys have had a lot of back and forth. Mm -hmm. I think it's real. Talking bands got a lot of, yeah. Hate is steady acting, give a mask, an imposter. Writing on my words, guess I'm the author. Can't want at least look like a boxer. She gonna give me brain like she graduated from Harvard. Yeah, yeah. I want to start by asking you a question with something you said, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but you essentially said that Baumgartner hasn't done anything for the sport. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel that way? And why has the things that she's done so far not have any merit with you? Well, this is what I said. My, my point to saying that was, look how far women's boxing has come. I always said, I want to do everything I can so the next generation of girls that come up mm -hmm. actually have an opportunity to make money, actually have a platform. Mm -hmm. And she's proof that my work has paid off because mm. she really has, I never even heard of her until I turned pro. Mm. You know, she was in the amateurs, but I didn't know about her. Um, she wasn't on the scene as a pro, and then she comes out of nowhere, beats Terry Harper. She walks onto her right hand, and referee Mark Lyson decides that Terry Harper has to be saved, and Alicia Baumgartner is now the WBC super featherweight champion. Wow. And now she's coming into the biggest fight of her life with payday that took me years to make. So, um, yeah, but she, she really didn't do the groundwork. Alicia, you have a comment on that? Hey, Alicia. Hey, Miku. Um, so it's, it's really comical at this point to see Michaela's mindset and where she's at. You know, she has to build herself up to this, this idea of who this girl is. She knows that I'm a threat. And because she, she feels threatened, she has to make these things up. Well, who is this girl? And, and what does she do? And she, did she do any groundwork? Like, let's be, let's be realistic. She's going to get her test. I'm her biggest challenge from top to bottom. And, you know, September 10th, she'll find out. Wouldn't you say I'm your biggest test too, though? No, not at all. You're not my biggest test. I'm my biggest test. You were just someone I had to get through. This, this fight is, it's going to make you look like, who is Michaela? People, people know who you are, but they really don't know who you are. I'm really, I'm really going to expose you. I'm going to expose who, how basic you are, how average you are. You are a basic boxer. Okay. You, from the amateurs up, you're the same fighter. Like, the only Are you talking about the amateurs? The, the amateurs that you couldn't adapt to that style in 165 fights, and I'm the one? I'm the one who's basic? We're not talking about the amateurs no more. Look at our resume. We're not talking about the amateurs no more. We're in the pro, in the pro game, and because we're in the pro game, it's even better that I can fight you. No headgear, small gloves. You're going to get this work, Michaela. Look, 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 You're going to get this look, work. Look, let's, let's, let's just calm it down a bit. I, you know what? I, they just went right after it, honestly. Where is they, this animosity coming from? Like, both of you do not like one another. Where did this stem from? When did this it, stem it's from? St it stems from respect. 
You know, every fighter is respected who steps in the ring. That's one. Two, it, it's just clear because she doesn't know who I am, she, she talks with disrespect. And that's cool. But it's the fact that you need to respect who I am, what I've done in the sport. And because I just is, came out of nowhere to become a world champion, I, be, I became a world champion respect. the way I did it. Knockout of the year? Knockout of the year? What have you done? Yeah, this week. Like, you just started. It's not about respect, hey, are Alicia. Are you knocking people out? Are you knocking people out? You're not doing that. Alicia. Next. It's not about respect. It's about being a no, champion. No, it is about respect. And I'm a champion, which means I'm going to call out the best. You became champion, so naturally, I'm going to call out you. That's what it's about. It has nothing to do with whatever you're saying. I won the belt, and so I'm coming for the champions because I want to be undisputed. That's it. Well, how did this fight? How did this fight get made? Who this made fight, this fight. Th this fight got made because of me. Because you signed the contract that my team sent you. Because of the and money. And that's cool though. And what I say, give me a full camp and I'll beat you. That's what I say. Here, here's the good thing, the fight is made. Somebody's gonna be right, and somebody's gonna be wrong. Alicia, please tell me one reason why you're gonna be right. I'm knocking Michaela out September 10th. That's all I know. I'm gonna dog walk you. I'm gonna make you do what I want you to do. Just watch, Michaela. you're gonna see something. You ain't been in there with a dog before. I promise you, you haven't. Okay. How you gonna knock her out? I, I mean, how you gonna do that? 17 women have tried. 17. Okay, women. every fighter that Michaela's fought have came up in weight, okay? No, she has not fought what someone in her What do you mean? I two rain, long time reigning champion. Look at your record. Look at your box record, Alicia. Every girl you knocked out has a losing record besides Terry Harper. Listen, let's just keep, let's just keep it factual. Let's just keep it, listen, listen, let's just keep it factual. My athleticism alone beats you. You stand straight up. Athletic, tr skill trumps athleticism. Skill, I, I athleticism. I wanna know, why are you gonna be right about all this back and forth? Why are you gonna get your hand raised on the night? Because I'm the more complete fighter. I've had more challenges. I've had. I've been tested more. There's a left hook from Michaela Mayer. Michaela graduated tonight to a master inside the ring. The right person won. Michaela Mayer. I've had all these tests and challenges. She hasn't. All of her opponents on her pro record are have losing records. So I have more to offer. There's more that I can do. When she can't land that big right hand, what does she have? Well, speaking about that big right hand. You said something the other day that got my attention for sure. You said if she can't land the right hand in the first two or three rounds, she's finished. She's finished. That's a bold statement. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Yeah, because that's all she has. She doesn't have a second. Literally? I've watched her fights. She doesn't have a second gear. So if she can't catch me in the beginning of the fight, I'm going to get her number and I'm mm. going to take it to her and mm. she's not going to be able just to sit back and time me. She has a big right hand. She wants to be in her comfort zone. She wants to keep that space. And she doesn't have that dog that she, she says she has. Where was that dog on her last fight against Matisse? But she was levels above Matisse and she couldn't take it to her. Oh, God, just waiting, stalking. Yeah, I'm surprised she's not found that right hand more often. She couldn't even back her up and get her against the ropes. She doesn't have a second gear. She's not the dog she says she is. I mean, do you believe? Listen, have, have that mentality that, that you just think I got my right hand. That's cool. I love that. Keep that. But here's the thing. I, I did what I wanted in that fight with Matisse. That's one thing. Pitched a shutout every round. Did that. So you didn't want to stop her? Had a fun okay. time. Listen, had a fun time. Did you stop any of your other girls that you fought, Michaela? No. I don't claim to be, I don't claim to knock everybody out like you. That's what you're claiming. You're claiming to be the dog. You're claiming to be the dog. Are you not? Listen. You're a boring fighter. Where's the dog? I haven't seen the dog. You're a boring fighter. You're trying to go the distance. This is pro world, baby. They want to see knockouts. They don't want to see Wait. you go the distance. No, but what, what, what's the mentality of a puncher? I wasn't a puncher in my career, you know, but I had a mentality that if someone hit me and I don't go anywhere, they get in for it. What's your mentality as being a puncher? What do you think when you go into My My mentality as a puncher is you kill, steal, and destroy. You're going to fill every punch with intent. We've seen the best Michaela. We've seen that. No one's seen the best Alicia Bumgardner. And you will see that September 10th. That's the difference. I'm a different type of breed. I'm a different type of athlete. My grit and my grind my, is my different. My resume is like five times as long as yours. If you don't think I'm athletic. You take it things literal. I want to get to a word, that ladies, like that you hear thrown around a lot, but we don't always define it. Michaela is saying that Alicia hasn't been tested. What does tested mean to you when you say a fighter's been tested? Tested means when you going into camp, to prepare for a fighter, you're taken out of your comfort zone. You're being challenged to work on things that maybe you didn't have to focus on for the fight before. A well-rounded fighter is someone who can box moving forward, box moving backward, box 
left to right in all different areas of the ring. And fighting different opponents who test you to do that is, okay. is important. That's what gets you to the level that I'm at. That's what makes me a more complete fighter. Okay. Alicia, what does tested mean to you? Exactly the same thing that she just said. That's every athlete, that's every boxer who gets in the ring. Like, what, what makes you think I'm any different? I'm just better than you. That's it. Excellent. I want to ask a question to the coaches. I know Coach Al very well. You guys see the social media back and forth. How do you feel about, about that? Do you want your athlete to stay away or you don't mind it? I say, whatever you do, don't put gasoline on the fire. Mm. I watch the things she say now. She on point. Okay. I, I'm not a social media. She'll tell you. I didn't even know about Instagram. Come on, you ain't got no account? She'll tell you. Got you. Yeah. you got Instagram. Yeah, she account. got it. I don't even answer to nothing. Facebook, I, I, I don't even get it. I think the difference is everything I say, I'm speaking facts. I'm not doing any low jigs. I'm basically just talking about everything that's actually happened. I actually grew and developed and beat everybody and got myself ranked, got myself multiple titles. WBO IBF Junior Lightweight World Champion. And so now I have the confidence to step up and say, no, I am the best in this division. And everything I say, I, I mean. But the thing I like about it, she never stepped outside the box. Right. She don't never demean her nobody right. or nothing like that. That's the most important. I come from Philly. We, we I got used to some, war I heard y'all got some pretty other. good fighters in, in yeah, Philly over here. We used to war just a with bit. each other. <laughs> Coach, how, how do you feel about it? Do you mind Alicia getting into it? It, nah, it motivates her. Every, listen, everybody is different. I was in the Army 21 years. Every, you can't train everybody a certain way. So I follow Michaela also. I follow both of them. When they go back at it all day long, she come in motivate. And uh, for the record, I'm from Philly too. I'm from South Philly, and we always beat North Philly. Um, <laughs> So just, just, just so Al can know that. You know better than that. <laughs> I, I, listen, I know what I know. He just I stole your know. line, Coach. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. He know better than that. Listen, I was taught by the best. Al uh, trained me also. So, you know, I know Al well. Good guy, good guy. But, hey, I'm looking forward to beating him. That's, that's just part of, uh, part of boxing. But, you know, just like the karate movies, man. <laughs> Student beats the teacher. So that's, that's my goal. I want to jump in, and I want to ask you guys about another word. Pressure. I know both of y'all, whether y'all admit it or not, it's a lot of pressure going into this fight. I want to know, how do y'all deal with pressure in general, and how much pressure are you feeling going into this fight? I've always said this type of pressure is privilege pressure. Mm. Like, there's plenty of people that would love to be in our mm. position, and I've worked hard to be here. This is everything that I've... This is the place, the position I've always dreamed yeah. to be in. And um, I deal with it by trusting in the process. So... I know when I walked, go into fight week, that I've done everything possible. I haven't cut any corners. I've dotted all my I's, crossed all the T's, and whatever I missed, my team picked up on. Okay. Like, everyone on my team is the best of the best. We've all been together for a long, long time, and we, we got it down, because I know that they wouldn't let me go into a situation unprepared. I like it, Alicia. Yeah, so I'm made for pressure. I'm made for this type of atmosphere. I'm made for this type of big fight. You know, I put myself in this position. I know the God-given talent that I have, and I understand my assignment. So this pressure is everything that I know that was going to come. So now, because I am at the biggest fight of my career, one of the biggest fights of my career, I know that this pressure that I'm dealing with is all for the greater good. This is, this is, for, this is for legacy, you feel me? So I love it. This, this is who I am. This is life. Well. I got a question for you, both of you. You know, I understand that, you know, the animosity is real, the hate is real, but I wanna know if you two have anything in common, if anything. No. I gotta intervene. We're yes, fighters. We both got that in common, we're fighters. Y'all both are competitive. Like, listen, I'm watching y'all on uh, Twitter, it's really like, getting on my nerves, but I'm, I'm still watching y'all because it's funny. But y'all two are so competitive that y'all want to get the last word, y'all want to do everything. So, you know, but we're going to see who competes the best. But y'all are competitive together because y'all y'all are not giving an inch away. Michaela, what do you guys have in common? We're both fighters. And like Coach said, we're both competitors. We're both world champions, and we're both willing to put our ass on the line. Alicia, when, when you think about Michaela, what is she misreading about you? I would say everything. I think she's underestimating me. 
as a fighter, what I've actually been through, my grit to get here, because she said I just came out of nowhere, that's, that's disrespectful. I worked my ass off to get to where I got to. I got the opportunity to become a world champion. Went to the UK and got knockout of the year. What a shot from Alicia Baumgartner. That completely stunned Terry Harbrook. But I'm just some girl who just came out like, no, my, my grind speaks for itself. I want to pose the same question to you, champ. What is she getting wrong about Michaela Mayer? Well, she said it herself. She thinks that I'm, I'm average. Mm. She says it over and over again, that I'm just an average fighter, easily beatable, and the best the biggest thing that she's overlooking. Mm. Well, well, coaches and, and fighters, listen. <laughs> y'all know, because y'all been around the sport for a long time. This thing, boxing, this, this isn't normal. Like, I know we normalize it, but it's not normal. When you get in that ring, you bringing in everything that you've been through, overcame. I'm gonna start with Alicia. What are you bringing into the ring every time you step in there? Your background, your highs, lows, everything. I'm bringing in everything. One, one thing about me is boxing is my life. There's no plan B. I've done this sport since I was an eight-year-old girl. I knew that I was gonna not live no average life. I knew that I was gonna be best at something. I'm like, you know what? I will be a world champion. I did that. There's no give up in me. This is all I know. And I put everything on the line when I step in the ring. Everything. I ain't got nothing to lose. This, this is it, because this is who I am, a born fighter. It's in my blood, and that's just that. And you're gonna know, September 10th. What you bringing into the ring with you? All the hard work that I put into my career, all the hard work that Coach Al has put into me, mm -hmm. my whole team, it's taken a lot of work to get to where I am today. So that, I don't want to let myself down. I don't want to let my team down. And then also just showing the world, like I feel like we're one of the few women who have that platform to step into the ring and show the world that women can box and that we can be on this stage and fight at this level. And we do have that skill and ability. And so I know that every time I step in the ring, I'm also proving to a lot of people and that may be the first time they're ever seeing a female fight. Mm. Um, mm. And then the young girls coming up, they're seeing, wow, okay, look, there's a path now. There's a, there's a blueprint to follow. There's a way to the top. And so those two things I think are what's most important to me. Got a question for you, Alicia. What do you see when you watch Michaela fight? I see a straight up fighter who's, you know, her height obviously is, she's tall. She comes forward, she throws a lot of punches. Um, still amateur style, you know, nothing's really changed since the pros, but you know, she's, she's average. I mean, she has her punches, she puts her punches together. She's, you know, up and down, you know, uses her jab, but there's a lot of flaws. There's a lot of flaws that I see and that I can pick up on. So, you know, she's, she's okay, she's decent. And speaking on, speaking on that, Coach, you said something, I'm gonna go back to something you said. You said that Mayor has improved in her last couple of fights, but also numbers don't lie. She's actually getting hit more in her last three previous fights than the fights before. Any concern there for you? Well, she has good defense. She's moving ahead and everything. And you got to look at the opponent that people duck. Hamadouche, everybody duck her. Anytime you got two minute rounds, throw 13, 14, and 15 punches. That's hard. You know that yourself. You're going to get hit. But you have to put your tail on the line and back them up with that style. The thing that showed me about Michaela, she getting to see things before they happen. And that's something you can't teach. And that's what I like about her. So with that being said, you were aggressive in that fight. And, you, and it sounds like to me you said you're going to be aggressive, correct me if I'm wrong, in this fight. Do you think that's a smart move? against a big puncher? I would never fight Baumgartner the way that I fought Hamadouche. It's a different fight, and I'm aware. Unlike Baumgartner, I don't think that you're, like she thinks I'm complete trash and totally an amateur. I don't think that about Baumgartner. I think she's a good boxer. I think she does a lot of good things well. But I, have, I think I have a strong ring IQ and I've dissected what she does and I dissected what she doesn't do. And so I, th I think she's a good boxer, but I think I'm the more complete, well-rounded, better boxer. And so I have an answer for her style. Alicia, what was your seminal moment that you knew this career path was what you wanted to do? 
You know, um, for me, I have a God-given talent. I'm highly favored. I understand my assignment and what God has gifted me to do. This is not just about me. This is about giving God the glory and what I do and what he has called me to do. And because my steps are ordained and have been ordained, September 10th is just a part of my, my legacy and a part of the story that God is writing for me. So this, this is already is supposed to happen. I'm just going through life and accepting um, God's assignment for my life. And Mayor, when did you realize this is exactly what you wanted to I be? Knew, I knew like three weeks into training that this was, that I wanted to be the best female fighter in the world. I told myself that. This was like back when Gina Carano was the star of women's MMA. Like before women were allowed into the UFC, before women were allowed into the Olympics, promoters weren't signing professional women. Um, but I knew right away. And I always look back thinking like, what the hell was I thinking? Because there was really no path for me. Like I said, and there was no opportunity and path. Mm. But I knew that I had found something that I loved and something that I was willing to sacrifice for. And that was it, that's all I needed. Both of you good ladies are American based. What does it mean to you to be fighting this big event in the UK? It means a lot. Listen, this is like my second home. This will be my third time fighting there. Michaela's a foreigner in the UK. And so it, I'm comfortable there. I commentate on Sky Sports in the UK. UK fans love me. So I'm excited to be back there again. I know um, that this fight is gonna be huge for women's boxing, boxing period. And um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. London is bigger. So bigger, um, bigger venue, bigger fans, all that. Let me throw it back to Andre Ward. Thank you, Tim. Well, I'm gonna just say this. This has been entertaining, right? And it's not just because of the back and forth. That's part of it. But you guys are much more than that. I know when I see an athlete that's locked in, and I know both of y'all are locked in, and I just want to say I respect you both. And I can't wait for September 10th. Final statements. And then, Alicia, I'm coming to you next. Tune in, because the, one of the greatest things about this sport and what I love is you get to get in the ring and you get to fight yeah, it out absolutely. at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. And so the truth will come out. Mm. Tune in regardless, it's gonna be a great fight. Um, not just our fight, but all the other women's fight on the card, first mm. time in history of all female mm -hmm. um, fights on one card. And so no matter what the outcome, no matter who you're rooting for, you won't be disappointed. Champ, final statements. Final statement, September 10th, history is being made. Make sure you tune in and understand what you're seeing. You will see a different animal. You will see who Alicia Bumgarner is. I know, People has gotten just previews of who I am, but you will see a full story come September 10th. And also say your bedtime prayers because you're going to sleep. So, you know, keep following women's boxing. Well, I'm gonna just close out by saying this. This is not a fight that anybody wants to miss. And this animus I think is real. Hopefully they put it to the side after this fight is over, but I think it's great for the promotion of the fight, but more importantly, to let the world know who Michaela Mayer and Alicia Bumgarner really is. And I'm excited and I just can't wait. These are the moments that we dream about and it's here for both of you guys. I just think that I'm the more complete fighter. She's never ever fought somebody like me. She feels threatened. She knows that her time is coming. I knew that I wanted to fight this girl. This is between me and my destiny. I'm ready to achieve all my dreams. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm supposed to be here. I have no fear. One step forward, never looking back. I'll never fall off track. I stay ready to fight back. She wants to go ahead and dismiss me and dismiss my power, my technique and skill and ability. That's where she's gonna lose, right there. She's putting on this persona that she's the top dog. I'm the best. I, I stay ready to fight back. I'm gonna take it to her, and I have every intention of stopping her. This is legacy, this is history, I want this.